Yo, it's your boy Vianjoy Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with the S23 Ultra and this time I'll be showing you how to unlock the GPU watch tool. So just in case you don't know what GPU watch is, it's an awesome tool that helps to observe the activity of the GPU. So once we enable this in the settings on our awesome S23 Ultra, we will be able to see detailed information that is superimposed on the phone's own display in real time. And besides that, anyway, guys, it's very easy to enable. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I use it a lot to monitor certain games that I play that does not have the in-game FPS monitor, like Call of Duty. Um, I know that Fortnite does have an on-screen FPS monitor, but it's small. I prefer to use the GPU watch because it can give you a bigger view of the FPS counter so you can see things a lot better whilst you're gaming. Anyway, I'm doing a bit too much talking, so I'm just going to take you through the steps of how to unlock GPU watch. So all you have to do is just pull down the notifications and go into the settings and scroll all the way down to where it says about phone, then select it, then select software information and look for the build number. So keep tapping it till it says developer mode has been enabled, then go back and back again. And where it says about phone, just scroll down a little bit and you'll see developer options select it and then scroll through the list and look for GPU watch and it explains, get information about an app's CPU and GPU usage. And then just turn it on, GPU watch. And by default, we have three widgets already added to the monitor. So we have the FPS. So this is what I like to use to monitor my frames whilst I'm gaming. And we also have load. So this monitors the CPU overload and GPU load and context info. So this monitors the API name, surface resolution, driver type. I'm gonna just remove that. Not interested in it. So I'm just gonna keep the load and the FPS. If you select it, you can adjust the size. So you can have it small, medium or large. And you can also change the color. So by default it's red, but you can change it to green or any other color that's on the menu there. And you can also select values to show on the widget. And once you're done, just hit OK. There's also some general settings as well that you can adjust. But I'm just going to leave it just like that. And now on the display there, you can see the FPS. So the current average FPS on my home screen is 45 and we can also see the CPU load and the GPU load. So now when I'm playing Call of Duty or Fortnite or any other game, I can now monitor the FPS, how many frames I'm getting whilst I'm gaming. I can also mo monitor the CPU and the GPU whilst I'm gaming as well. I'll link um, some Call of Duty gameplay to the end of the video. So just watch that. 
and give the video a thumbs up guys share the video it's your boy the android doctor and i'm out see you in the next one i'm out deuces okay guys so this is just a quick little gameplay to show you enemy contact up there in the top left hand corner Your frames per second when you're playing any game. So you can see up there in the left hand corner we're at 60 FPS. Enemy in sight! UAV online. Targets in sight! Any game that doesn't have FPS. Okay, so that's it guys, remember to like the video, share the video, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe, it's your boy Vanjo, and once again I'm out, deuces.